The boxing world was shocked to learn that Jake Paul had allegedly pulled the plug on his much-anticipated, although contentious, bout with Mike Tyson. This unexpected development occurred only days after an online video went viral and shocked the combat sports community. After the battle, rumors began to circulate. Was this a premeditated media stunt to increase interest in the bout? Or was Tyson really showcasing his raw power and giving Jake Paul a harsh wake-up call? All right, Jake, I'm filming. So guys, um, I'm in the hospital. I had an accident. I'm still gonna be able to fight August 6th, so get your tickets at msg.com before they sell out. But I broke my back. This announcement sent the fight world into a frenzy. But there were also voices in support of Paul's decision, many praising him for putting his health and safety above the allure of a lucrative payday. Fans who were eager to see a fight between the YouTube star and the legendary boxer were disappointed. Critics who had laughed at Paul's boxing legitimacy in the first place used this as an opportunity to further ridicule him. The event has sparked debates regarding the morality of exhibition fights, especially those involving elderly competitors who might not be at the top of their game physically. Whether this signals the end of the Paul Tyson saga for good remains to be seen. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell. By doing this, you'll never miss out on any future videos from the combat sports world. Mike Tyson sparred with a camp member in a Nevada parking lot on Saturday, demonstrating to his social media followers how prepared he is to face Jake Paul. Tyson demonstrated his agility by hitting the trainer's hands, body, and with a strong right hook showing that the 57-year-old former heavyweight champion still has, it was a clear warning to Paul. Paul claimed Tyson was underestimating him when he appeared on Jesse Waters' primetime earlier in the week. I think he's underestimating me. I truly, I truly think that. And it's a heavyweight fight, Paul said. He's the bigger man, but I'm the faster man. He's the much stronger man, but I'm fresh. He's experienced. I'm smart, but in the ring he may be smarter. So it's a really interesting matchup. But I think the whole world... And I think a lot of people see his training videos. And yes, he looks like a beast. He's a dog. He's Iron Mike Tyson. But I believe I have what it takes to beat him. I know this is the toughest test of my life and it's an honor to be in there with Mike. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna be the one who gets my hand raised. Tyson admitted on Hannity that he was scared to take on Paul, but that was just a sign of his mental preparation. As the fight gets closer, the less nervous I become. Because it's reality. And in reality, I'm invincible. Although Mike Tyson did admit that Jake Paul has come an extremely long way since he started boxing. I saw a YouTube of him at 16 doing weird dances. That's not the guy I'm gonna be fighting, he said. This guy is gonna come, he's gonna try to hurt me, which I'm accustomed to, and he's gonna be greatly mistaken. Since Mike Tyson has been releasing his new training footage over the past week, many fans are stating he's going to punish Jake Paul and that it'll end in a brutal knockout with posts like Bruh, I'm not gonna lie, once that bell rang and Mike started approaching me, I'd just turn right back around and walk right back out the ring if I hadn't already fainted. I will never sign the contract even if he is on the wheelchair. Bro's too strong. Yeah, I'd think again if I were Jake. Michael is back at his playing weight. A significant news regarding the Jake Paul vs. Mike Tyson event seemed to be made possible by Dana White's choice at the UFC 300 post-fight press conference. The much-anticipated rematch between Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano has strengthened the card. However, Matchroom CEO Eddie Hearn has discussed holding the Women's World Super Lightweight match at the Sphere in Las Vegas in June. White, on the other hand, was not fond of Hearn's suggestion for the Taylor vs. Serrano 2. When asked if Matchroom would consider using the Sphere to stage Taylor vs. Serrano 2, the UFC president answered, I love you, Eddie Hearn. I consider him a friend. Ain't happening. Sorry, Eddie. Love you, buddy. You can go in the Sphere in October. Speaking of Dana White, he wasn't exactly the biggest fan of the upcoming Jake Paul vs. Mike Tyson fight, to put it lightly. When the fight happens, he'll be 58 years old. It will be a 31 age difference. You know, Jake Paul did fight a kid his own age and he lost. 
I love Mike Tyson and I'm not a fan of anybody fighting at our age, but he's a grown man obviously and he's going to do what he's going to do, White said. At least I know I talked to his wife a couple of days ago and he's taking it serious and he's training for it and you know, we'll see how it plays out, White explained. Before we go any further into the video, what are your guys' honest predictions for this fight come July 20th? Will Mike Tyson show Dana White and the world that he's still the man and has the ability to shut Jake Paul's lights off? Or will Jake Paul show that age is a factor and defeat Iron Mike? Comment down below, Jake Paul has won 9 fights and 6 of them were knockouts. He isn't ready to stop winning, but he has picked Tyson as his opponent in the hopes of receiving the praise that his previous victories haven't been able to provide. However, you should trust the sports fans fighting Tyson has actually brought him more trolling than the previous nine combined. If this had happened 35 years ago when Mike Tyson was at the top of his game, it would have been a bold move on his part. In fact, it would only be concluded that he has chosen an early death for himself, but despite that Tyson is completely past his prime. His other goal is the more likely goal to be achieved, which is to make some good money eventually. He'd have to take one and leave the other. Nate Diaz, a former opponent of Jake Paul, has made his pick for the upcoming boxing match between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. Mike Tyson's a goat man, so I'm on Mike Tyson's side, so we'll see what happens, I think he's seen it all, yeah. As he gets ready to face boxing great Mike Tyson, Conor McGregor maintains that YouTuber Jake Paul is terrible for the sport. For me, it does set a bad precedent in the industry. Because what you've got now is, and I would say this to the young athletes coming up, men and women, don't aspire to be one of these YouTube fighters, aspire for world titles, aspire for the Olympics. That is how you etch your name in history. Doing these little smash and grab fights, you might get a few likes, but there's nothing substantial to it. It's hollow. It can be profitable, but it's hollow. And I'm noticing a trend in young fighters coming up that are not even interested in competing in the amateur scene or rising up to win a national title. You need the gold on the waist, you need to etch your name on the belt. And to be fair, Conor McGregor is not wrong the most sense he's spoken in a while. It looks good seeing these flashy fights, but young boxers coming up shouldn't look at what Jake Paul has done and aspire to reach those milestones so quickly. But with all the recent claims that Jake Paul may be pulling the plug on the fight due to his recent brutal sparring sessions, will the fight even be taking place moving forward? We'll be sure to keep you up to date with all the upcoming information. Anyway, this concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to Fight Fury for future videos from the combat sports world and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Until then, see you in the next one.